Margaret Bay Alice was burned out. She said her work lacked inspiration. Months of isolation due to COVID-19, it had taken a toll on her. Then she got an idea that not only changed her attitude, but uplifted hurting strangers as well. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Bobby Lewis is back out on the road in St. Pete with a painter hoping to offer a keepsake to people that have been hit hardest by this pandemic. Well, I did paint as a kid and I enjoyed painting in high school. Nearly every wall in Margaret Bay Alice's home bears her passion. Uh, this has been a challenge. But her purpose really, is still in progress. I was trying to connect with people who had relatives or family members, friends uh, that they had lost to COVID-19 and I offered that I would be happy to do a painting of their loved one for them. I was hoping what would come out of it was a connection with the community and comfort somebody who was really feeling bad. She shared her idea on the Next Door app with all of her neighbors and was so excited when she got a first reply. I've had six requests for paintings and I've had a lot of, you know, really nice comments from people around the neighborhood here. Margaret started her third portrait this morning and hopes it won't be her last. Marguerite was a really loved person in her family. She contracted COVID and died within four days. The human touch, that's the difference between a photograph and a drawing or painting, is that there's the evidence of that a human being is in that work. It's not a mechanical reproduction like a photograph. There are people out there that are really suffering. The St. Pete woman has always loved painting, but never loved it more. Now that she's doing it, to uplift people still hurting. Something money can't buy. It's given my work purpose. I'd like to do as many as possible, you know, to reach out to as many people as I can to make things a little easier during this tough time. How the stroke of a paintbrush can provide comfort for so many. It's truly unbelievable work she's doing, all for free too. And if you've lost a loved one to COVID and you'd like a portrait from Margaret, we have our email address listed in Bobby's story at 10tampabay.com.